Hey guys, I'm Andre from Tmile and today we're gonna be taking a look at how you can create a custom 404 page inside WordPress using the Neve theme and the Neve Pro add-on. Let's just jump into it. So what we've got here is actually a blank WordPress instance under the awesome dog.link domain. It only has the Neve theme activated and the Neve Pro add-on plugin uh, installed and activated. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go under appearance inside our dashboard under the Neve options page. We're gonna jump to the starter sites tab and we're gonna import a Gutenberg starter site. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick uh, the web agency demo. I'm gonna click import and uh, here we can set up what we want the, the importer to actually bring to the site. So I want everything. I want the content, the customizer settings, the widgets and there are two plugins required for this demo to actually work properly. Okay I'm just gonna go ahead and click import. There we go. So what actually is a 404 page? Well, if uh, somebody g goes on your site to a random link that is not actually used on the site, it's gonna display a page that looks like this. It seems we can't find what you're looking for, perhaps searching can help. Well, what if we want to actually use some uh, custom content on this? So we don't want to display this, but maybe something else. Okay, so let's uh, let's just take a look at how it's done. I'm gonna go back to the dashboard right now and under appearance, there should be a, a menu item called custom layouts. This is the custom layouts module that comes from Neve Pro. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. I'm gonna add a new layout and we're gonna call it 404 page because that's what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and add a cover block get a background image for our, from our media library, maybe this one, okay, and I'm gonna set it to full width so it takes a whole page. Okay, I wanna add a heading here, page not found. Let's just then center the text uh, and make the text white. I'm gonna add some space between this and the next element we're gonna put in. I'm gonna leave it some around maybe 50 pixels and we're gonna add a button group. The button group uh, block comes with other blocks. I'm just gonna need one button. I'm using this block actually because it's more customizable. You have more control over the appearance of the, the buttons. And on the button, we're gonna just write, type rather, we're gonna type back to the home page. Okay, let's just center the button and I'm gonna link it to the actual home page. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna change its background color to yellow and make sure that the text is white. We're gonna drop the border radius to zero and add some padding. I'm gonna, let's say, so uh, vertically we're gonna have 20 pixels and horizontally 25 maybe. This is for the content part. The actual special thing about the custom layouts is that uh, it, they have a box right here down below after the content called custom layout settings and from here you can select different options uh, as to where you want this to be displayed. So I'm gonna go into the layout uh, dropdown and select the 404 page. So now this will uh, replace our 404 page content. I'm gonna hit publish and that's it, it's published. So now if we go back to our previous uh, visited page that wasn't available on our website and refresh it, this is the content we're gonna get. So that's it, uh, I hope this helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching this.